I'd like to read from the Bade Karata Sutta, An Auspicious Day, Majjhima Nikaya 131, translated from the Pali by Tanisiro Bhikkhu. I have heard that on one occasion the Blessed One was staying in Savati at the Jetas Grove, Anattapindika's monastery. There he addressed the monks. Monks, yes, Lord, the monks responded. The Blessed One said, Monks, I will teach you the summary and exposition of one who has had an auspicious day. Listen and pay close attention. I will speak. As you say, Lord, the monks replied. The Blessed One said, You shouldn't chase after the past or place expectations on the future. What is past is left behind. The future is as yet unreached. Whatever quality is present, you clearly see. Right there. Right there. Not taken in. Unshaken. That's how you develop the heart. Ardently doing what should be done today. For who knows? Tomorrow, death. There is no bargaining with mortality and his mighty horde. Whoever lives thus ardently, relentlessly, both day and night, has truly had an auspicious day. So says the peaceful sage. And how, monks, does one chase after the past? One gets carried away with the delight of, in the past, I had such a form. In the past, I had such a feeling. In the past, I had such a perception. In the past, I had such a thought fabrication. In the past, I had such a consciousness. This is called chasing after the past. And how does one not chase after the past? One does not get carried away with the delight of in the past I had such a form. In the past I had such a feeling. In the past I had such a perception. In the past I had such a thought fabrication. In the past I had such a consciousness. This is called not chasing after the past. And how does one place expectations on the future? One gets carried away with the delight of, in the future, I might have such a form. In the future, I might have such a feeling. In the future, I might have such a perception. In the future, I might have such a thought fabrication. In the future, I might have such a consciousness. This is called placing expectations on the future. And how does one not place expectations on the future? One does not get carried away with the delight of, in the future I might have such a form, in the future I might have such a feeling, in the future I might have such a perception, in the future I might have such a thought fabrication, in the future I might have such a consciousness. This is called not placing expectations on the future. And how is one taken in with regard to present qualities? There is the case where an uninstructed ordinary person who has not seen the Noble Ones, is not versed in the teachings of the Noble Ones, is not trained in the teachings of the Noble Ones, sees form as self or self as possessing form or form as in self, or self as in form. He or she sees feeling as self, or self as possessing feeling, or feeling as in self, or self as in feeling. He or she sees perception as self, or self as possessing perception, or perception as in self, or self as in perception. 
he or she sees thought fabrications as self, or self as possessing thought fabrications, or thought fabrications as in self, or self as in thought fabrications. He or she sees consciousness as self, or self as possessing consciousness, or consciousness as in self, or self as in consciousness. This is called being taken in with regard to present qualities. And how is one not taken in with regard to present qualities? There is the case where a disciple of the Noble Ones who has seen the Noble Ones, is versed in the teachings of the Noble Ones, is well trained in the teachings of the Noble Ones, does not see form as self, or self as possessing form, or form as in self, or self as in form. He or she does not see feeling as self, or self as possessing feeling, or feeling as in self, or self as in feeling. He or she does not see perception as self, or self as possessing perception, or perception as in self, or self as in perception. He or she does not see thought fabrications as self, or self as possessing thought fabrications, or thought fabrications as in self, or self as in thought fabrications. He or she does not see consciousness as self, or self as possessing consciousness, or consciousness as in self, or self as in consciousness. This is called not being taken in with regard to present qualities. You shouldn't chase after the past or place expectations on the future. What is past is left behind. The future is as yet unreached. Whatever quality is present, you clearly see right there, right there. Not taken in, unshaken, that's how you develop the heart. Ardently doing what should be done today. For, who knows, tomorrow, death. There's no bargaining with mortality and his mighty horde. Whoever lives thus ardently, relentlessly, both day and night, has truly had an auspicious day. So says the peaceful sage. Monks, I will teach you the summary and exposition of one who has had an auspicious day. Thus was it said, and in reference to this was it said. That is what the Blessed One said. Gratified, the monks delighted in the Blessed One's words.